Hi, I'm Ian Stables, Senior Project Manager here at Burton Boat Company, and this is Brynhild, a 1958 Bermudan sloop designed by Fred Parker. Accurate templates of the yacht are needed to precisely measure and assemble a well-fitting replacement teak deck. There are several means to accomplish this, but the shipwrights of Burthen prefer using door skin templates, a traditional method using 50 to 75 mil wide, 2 to 3 mil thick plywood strips and a hot glue gun to exactly template the area needing the new decking. Brynhild's team of shipwrights made a perimeter shape with these strips, adding in diagonals for strength and smaller tabs to help dictate the curve of the deck. These were then divided into manageable sized pieces. In most cases, when renewing traditional teak decks, a solid plywood subdeck is made of high quality marine grade plywood, bonded and screwed to the deck beams. This adds significantly to the strength of the replacement deck, ensures water tightness, and also allows the teak deck panels to be laid without any fastenings, further reducing the risk of future water ingress and increasing the lifespan of the deck, as there are no shallow fastening dowels to worry about. The deck planks can either be fitted straight or swept to follow the shape of the gunnel and snaped into a king plank. Brynhild originally had a swept deck and the replacement teak panels were set out to replicate this arrangement. Firstly, the team had to manufacture her subdeck. This was a relatively straightforward job with the side deck templates already formed. They were simply laid over sheets of marine ply and then marked to cut out shape. From here, the boards were positioned and adjusted to a perfect fit. With the new subdeck sitting snugly, it was time to turn them over and begin work on the underside. This is the expanse of wood that ends up as the deck head in the cabins below, and to avoid the look of a modern ply subdeck, the detailing is really important. The individual sections of marine ply were positioned and temporarily fixed together, and the traditional swept lines of the original teak deck set out on the underside. Dummy seams were then cut into the underside of the ply panels using a router, which once painted gives the look of traditional deck plank seams from the underside. With the detailing of the underside of the ply panels completed, the subdeck could be fitted, glued and screwed to the deck beams and carlings, ready to have the new teak deck laid on top. At Burthen, we carry out all the work required in teak deck repair or replacement, along with all deck maintenance for boats up to 120 tonnes. We also carry out remedial work on teak decks for small cruising boats, including traditional scarfing and caulking repairs. The replacement teak deck for Brynhild was ordered from Moody Deck, fabricated from sustainably sourced teak and assembled in a jig to replicate the curvature of the swept teak deck, established from the templates. The new teak deck seams are pre-corked and fitted with a bond breaker tape to avoid seam edge failure and finished off with a glass and epoxy resin laminate scrim to both stabilise the deck panel geometry and provide the perfect surface for bonding the teak panels to the subdeck. The new teak deck arrived in several pieces and underwent a few final stages before being glued to the deck. Following a quality control check undertaken by our shipwright foreman, the original templates were overlaid on the new teak deck, marking where any fittings will need to be cut through. The covering boards were added to the outboard edges to cap the end grain of the ply subdeck panels and the whole deck was dry fitted. Once the foreman was satisfied with the dry fit, the deck could be lifted and the adhesive application started. Once the adhesive is applied, each section of deck is laid in place and aligned with reference marks established during the dry fit process. Working around the yacht until all sections of the new deck have been laid in place, the entire deck is ballasted to ensure that the teak deck panels are fully seated and any excess adhesive squeezed out. We used 120 25 kilo weights on Brynhild and these are left in place overnight as the adhesive cures. Following removal of the ballast weights, 
and a little cleaning up of the margins and covering board seams, the next task is to pay up the remaining seams, leaving a seamless joint and a perfectly finished deck. There's no better finish to a quality boat than a teak deck.